Hello, Biotube. Memo-like or big convoy, really the only difference is the box. And the box features Stampy, who does form this weapon of sorts. Which I don't really think he needs given he has this big cannon. As well as these forearm tomfas, these leg missiles, which can double as axes and have no place of storage in beast mode. And he can also flip out these hip cannons if he wants. While Big Convoy is bigger than Convoy, he's not the biggest Convoy. Even in beast mode, he seems a little small, comparatively. In his beast mode, he has no articulation whatsoever. But he is rather nicely detailed. Getting the panels all together the first few times is a bit difficult, but eventually you get the hang of it. While he has no articulation, he does have some fun gimmicks. The tusk gimmick really doesn't make much sense, since elephants can't do that. He does also have a tank mode, but let's not talk about it. One of the major things about Big Convoy is that he has the first removable matrix. And overall, being a shell former and the limitations that puts on his posability, he's a fun figure, and it's pretty neat to have an Optimus that turns into an elephant. He is worthy to hold the matrix. And with it, Optimus can now light our darkest hour. Hot Rod, not so much, but they are re-releasing Studio Series 86 Hot Rod in the Legacy line, though without his Matrix. Speaking of Hot Rods, I have forgotten one, Optimus Maximus's chess piece, the Combiner Wars Hot Rod. And yeah, I guess he looks kind of like Hot Rod. Almost looks like the Authentics one, kinda sorta, if you squint a little bit. I mean, yeah, this is totally Hot Rod. I mean, who else could it be? Look at the colors, right? They pretty much match them perfectly. Links below.